तो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ महेंद्र सैनी फैकल्टी फ्रॉम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एंड आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस एंड आई वुड आई वुड लाइक टू टीच यू टूडे इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ विंड एंड सिस्मिक एनालिसिस विच इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर बी टेक सिक्स सेमेस्टर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट स्टूडेंट्स ओके एंड इन दिस न्यूमेरिकल विच वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व टूडे वी कैलकुलेट द अर्थ क्रेक लॉड ओके सो न्यूमेरिकल इज गिवन ओके सो अ थ्री स्टोरी सिमेट्रिक आर सी सी बिल्डिंग रेस्टिंग ऑन स्पेशल मोमेंट रेस्टिंग फ्रेम इज गिवन ओके एंड स्कूल बिल्डिंग सिचुएटेड इन भुज लोकेशन इज एट भुज ओके प्लान डायमेंशियल मीन्स प्लॉट डायमेंशन इज सेवन मीटर बाई सेवन मीटर एज स्टोरी हाइट इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव मीटर टोटल वेट ऑफ द बीम एंड कॉलम्स एट एच स्टोरी इज वन थर्टी किलोमीटर एंड फिफ्टी किलोमीटर ऑलरेडी वेट ऑफ द बीम एंड कॉलम्स एंड ऑल दिस कंपोनेंट्स आर गिवन so there is no need to be calculate anything else means in sense of dead load and live load <coughs> so total weight of story slab and roof slab is also given 250 kN and 300 kN respectively okay live load on each floor is 503 kN per meter square the structure is resting on hard rock so determine and show the total base shear and its distribution on each floor okay so we have to draw base shear diagram in this question assume damping as 5% this question is uh, asked this question was asked in rtu in 2014 so this is an important question okay similar type of question generally ask in this um, in rtu exam as well as other exam other universities exam okay so let to uh, we solve this uh, numerical so in this solution these things are given three story rcc building special moment testing frame location is bhuj type of building is school building means educational building plan dimension is 7 meter by 7 meter Story height is three point five meter each. Total column weight fifty kiloton. Total beam weight one thirty kiloton. Total weight of the story slab two fifty kiloton. And live load on floor is five zero three kiloton per meter square. Resting on hard uh, rock. And damping is given as five percent. Okay. So all these data are given. So in step first, we have to calculate the natural period of vibration or shaking. In case of earthquake, when earthquake occur, capital T it is uh, given by formula point zero nine h upon root d. So h total h total story is three. Each story height is three point five. So three point five multiply by, multiply by three. It is uh, calculated as ten point five and d the value of d is seven. Okay, so we can we get we got the value of capital T is point three seven by second. Okay. this is the natural shaking period of so step 2 is the determination of other important factor capital t we have already calculated okay h.375 second 357 second and for hard rock okay for hard rock s upon g uh, equal to 2.5 as per caudal provision Bhuj is situated in zone number five. Okay, since the building is used as a school building, so importance factor is capital I equal to one point five, and SM of RF structure type of structure, response reduction factor is capital R equal to five. So in step third, determination of design horizontal seismic coefficient AH. This is given by this formula, and all values are. we have already calculated after putting in this equation 
we get 0.135 h so what is step for determination of seismic weight okay total weight of roof equal to beam weight plus column weight plus roof slab weight this uh, this is taken as total weight of roof okay it includes weight of beam weight of column weight of roof slab so and uh, considered as w1 130 plus 50 plus 300 it is given and total weight on, on one floor equal to 130 plus 50 plus 250 okay so in this case 430 okay so floor load due to live load of 503 kiloton per meter is taken as uh, as a live load given in question take 50 percent of the load on floor okay so what is 50 percent 503.503 into 0.50 into 77 it is a flow load due to live load and this is calculated as 12323.5 kN so total load on floor which is considered as w2 equal to 430 plus 12323.5 1, 2, total 127.12753.5 kN okay so total assessment weight equal to w equal to capital w equal to w1 plus 2w2 okay okay because uh, first and second story have same uh, weight weight total weight so 480 plus 2 into 127.12753.5 so total aggregate equal to total assessment weight equal to 25987 kN okay so design of base shear vb equal to h into w equal to 0.135 into 25987 then base shear is 350 8.248245 kN okay so in step six, uh, 6 distribution of equivalent lateral load uh, we will calculate by format okay in this format story number is given 123 weight corresponding to each story is given 480 and uh, respectively other height is given first story is 3.5 second is 7 and third one is 10.5 WHI square we can easily calculate by weight into height okay height of square height of square of height okay so after putting in these these value in this formula whi square upon summation of whi square you can get capital q then after this formula is multiplied by base shear vb and sum total sum is 222.42 okay and uh, if we calculate by adding simultaneously from top to bottom this value is uh, should be added in this value so we can get 2850.09 and after in 28509 after adding this value 39122 okay one carry over and one plus one two okay zero and seven so seven here okay five five ten zero one carry six eight fourteen fourteen and uh, one five plus one five fifteen fifteen uh, last once is five and uh, one carry so two plus one three so total 3507 at the bottom story okay so total distribution of lateral load is given as calculated as this formula and the sum of all means sum of these whi square is given by 834071.875 okay let's move towards uh, diagrams so diagrams are calculated are drawn like this 2 to 2.2 okay this is shear diagram means shear is generally more in bottom floor and decreasing continuously when we move towards top story okay in this case this is a lateral forces okay shaking shaking will generally uh, more in case of upper story in comparison to below story okay 
so this diagram shows that uh, more seismic activities will happen in this uh, portion and in this portion is low and in this portion is comparatively lowest okay so we can understand that uh, more damage will cre will create uh, cracks or distortion or hazards or you can say uh, destruction in this story okay more cracks will appear so thank you this is a problem okay we can try to understand uh, other problems in next hour lectures thank you very much